Hey folks, David Molnar here, and the one, the only, he calls himself my ginger shot, <laughs> hilarious, uh, Rich Coleman. Welcome to Hello. The, the Your Photography Mentor. I always feel like that's weird to say The Your, but welcome to Your Photography Mentor podcast. I'm happy. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna that's be a mouthful. Day. Yeah, the your photography mentor. Well, should we just change? The how about the? Right? How about the? How about welcome to the your photography mentor? Well, the, like. the, <laughs> the your photography. That's what I was saying. It's like a little bit much, you know. But um, but that's all right. Rich, how are you doing today? Ten for ten, man. I'm doing great. The weather's good here in North Carolina. All those stupid hurricanes already have passed. So, looking yeah. like it's going to be an interesting rest of a 2020 after the 2020 we've been in. Oh my gosh, can we just skip 2020, you know? Uh, it's just crazy. But you know, you know what, there are ways and there are there are ways to make 2020 better. There are ways to to make the best of it. Wouldn't you say? I don't, I just the joke part cuz I'm just like waiting for like <laughs> you're waiting for a joke. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you're like as if, well, I mean, you know, like I was working on stuff at my house and people usually get shocked um, when they find out that I'm not a good electrician. Ah, uh, there it is. That's the David uh, Monar. Yeah, I there know. you go. That's like that's the terrible joke Monday. Uh, start, starting us off, you know. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm excited. We're 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 going to be starting a new thing called the Big Threes. We're going to start that next week, David. We didn't really have time to flush it out. Where we talk about three big things going on in the world, three big things going on with you personally, the three big things. Oh, I'm like this is three big things. I don't remember us. I guess we were talking about that. I didn't know we were going to call it the three big three, but or the big three. I don't know. Whatever. You the know big what? Three. And we have something today that we could even talk about because, um, you know, something interesting tech. But but first, a couple things. Number one, um, this is going to be a really fun podcast. It's a new podcast, obviously, but it's a new did format. You say, of podcast. Did you say new or nude? Nude. I have no pants on. Just kidding. Just kidding. I do. I do. I can't. I can't stand up right now. Okay. All right. You're. A, you, but you are a stand-up kind of guy. Um, well, no. We have a couple really fun things today. Like a couple really fun things. First of all, we're all. We always do a giveaway whenever we go live, which is really fun to give stuff away. Um, I don't know what we're giving away today, but we can figure that out in a second. You guys can let us know in the comments if you'd like to know. Yeah. Like what we're giving away today. I'm I not think even... we should pick something that organically happens in this podcast. But yes. to be eligible to win. Right now, there's a bottom on the bottom right hand side is a share button. Share this video right now, and we're gonna pick one winner to win something. We're so prepared, we don't even know what that one thing is. <laughs> so prepared, it's gonna be amazing. I have the idea, I actually just got the idea, but we're gonna hold off on it. I have okay. the idea. Okay, sweet, sweet. Um, that sounds awesome. Marissa saying she already shared. Amy Lee is saying we should give away a camera today. <laughs> Gosh, you guys are you guys have expensive taste. My goodness. Um, there's a lens that I want to talk about in a minute. So remind me, because there was a lens that I got to try out the other day um, when one of my friends. Uh, it's so funny because he he texts me uh, on the morning that he's like, "Hey, I'm in your area," you know, and he's like, "You want to hang out today?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sure, let's hang out." But I got to we got to hang out the other day and talk, and it was just like it was a blast. Um, my friend Alex Workman, he's been doing these amazing um, projects. He's just such a, a kind, gentle soul. And he was telling me um, about a couple things, this amazing project that he's been doing lately in light of all the craziness that's going on in the world with COVID-19 and all this jazz. Um, and, uh, and he was showing me this project and I was just like blown away. I was like, that's so cool. We should... We should, uh, we should talk to our students about it. And he also showed me this amazing lens. And I want to talk about that too in a minute because that could be part of our like big three I'm thing. I'm ready. But, I saw it. But what do you think? What, should we bring Alex on this podcast and like kind of ask him about his life and show some of his cool photos? That would work, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love it. Love it. Hey, folks. Alex Workman. There he is. Hey, he's right there. He's he's on there. <laughs> we, uh, Alex, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing well. It's good to see y'all. Yeah, likewise. I was. It's so funny. Like every time you come to the 30A area, you're like, "Hey, I'm here. The, I'm here today." You know, and I'm like, oh, "Yeah, yeah." I'll, 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 I'm, I always got time for you. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that, that's, that's anytime that's awesome. I can get a latte made by the photography mentor, I, I am did. all about it. Yes. Did you guys get some good coffee the other day? Did y'all make it to Black Bear? Uh, no, they closed. Oh, we spent too, we spent too much time eating organic gummies in your studio. 
I do have a lot of organic gummy bears somewhere, somewhere, somewhere there. They're in the background over there. They're amazing. They're not just for yeah, kids. Blessings. I promise. Blessings. Hey, um, but, you you have been doing these amazing projects um, for oh, years, you. for years. But um, you know, uh, projects that give back, projects that bring awareness, projects that even raise you know funds for other people. Um, for those of you guys who don't know Alex Workman, him and his wife, um, we are the Workmans.com, right? I think that's the actual website. Yes, sir. And uh -huh. um, and uh, it's you know real easy to spell. It it just works, man. Um, so uh, but they, <laughs> they they've been doing these amazing projects for years, and we can talk, kind of talk about some of those personal projects. I think that'd be really fun to sure. to talk about it because you guys are kind of like the first responders to come in and creatively, you know, help out communities. Sure. But in light of the whole COVID-19 thing, you guys have done something that I think is really, really amazing. Um, and we were talking about it the other day, and, uh, and I just thought it'd be fun to kind of show our students a little bit of that project sure. and talk about it. Um, but Alex and his wife are amazing uh, photographers and videographers, and you guys are focused primarily on, on photography these days? or uh, Yeah, mo mostly photography, uh, which has kind of just shifted. Uh, we, like the reason we call like the business is the Workmen's, it's our last name, and we love to create as a family, and that's mm -hmm. something that's really valuable to us. And uh, so, so uh, as, as we now have uh, a, a two kids, it, being able to, really focus on photography has helped us uh mm. give, give me the opportunity to jump in the car and travel uh without having the two of us having to do that together so yeah. it's given us a little bit more freedom as a family and we get to kind of trade off being parent or creative whatever uh at different different periods of time and we're all sometimes we're fortunate enough to find a to find a babysitter and we <laughs> could uh we could actually create together so um yeah it's been great that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, and video editing and stuff and video production just takes so much more time. I mean, I remember you saying yeah. that the, the editing process is just so time consuming. And I love I love shooting video. I love I actually love editing video, but photography itself can just be a little bit quicker and so it might be a little bit easier on a family, you know, a family man like yes, yourself with For sure. With two kids. Well, hey, tell us a little yeah. bit about what's been going on in your mind, your heart, and, and this project late, later, and we could potentially even uh, potentially even do some screen sharing and show kind of the sure. students some stuff in a little teeny bit, um, which would be yeah. awesome too. Um, but I, but I, like, so COVID nineteen happens. It's crazy, and, sure. and your you guys are you guys are stuck at home. Uh, do y'all work from yep. home office? uh sometimes we do have a home office it's where i'm at now but we okay. also uh we also have some spaces in our city that we that we work in but we uh it, it was kind of an interesting season for us because we we live in tallahassee florida it's a capital city and the day of the national disaster declaration was like the day the last day of legislative session uh, okay. for our state and so it was it was kind of a really interesting time for our community right. and at the same time that was kind of, for us in our business that was like this cutoff of oh like all of our work is gone <laughs> we, we literally had the best january and february like that we've ever had we were we were like this is going to be the best year ever um and then and 2020 then hashtag, resolutions yeah <laughs> yeah hashtag yeah 2020 um, oh gosh so we uh yeah we were stuck at home and that first month was act was really was really tough i think from a revenue standpoint we we made like 350 dollars that pays uh, all the bills pays all of them especially in a family of four mm -hmm. and and so that uh that also led to me realizing one i need to create if i don't create i'm going to uh really really struggle and at the same time, I was talking to a number of my creative friends who were sharing that they were struggling with isolation, struggling with depression, struggling, feeling like they might lose their businesses. And in my mind, I was thinking, okay, what is something that could help in this season? Yeah. Without being, what? Well, how can we poke fun at the season that we're in without being disrespectful to right. the severity of the virus to those people who are losing their lives or who are making sacrifices so we can be comfortable as as a community? Mm -hmm. And uh, and so we we came up with this idea called COVID wear, and the genesis of it was looking at 
Instagram stories and seeing friends who would post a picture of them uh, dressed up. They're like for a Skype call or a Zoom yeah. call. They'd flip the camera around and they'd be in boxers or slippers or pajamas or whatever it been. <laughs> I, I was thinking, this is really, really funny. And I kind of sh- shelved that in my mind or, you know, filed it away. And then we were outside in our backyard one day and my two-year-old, well, almost two, his name's Oliver, he was wearing rain boots and a diaper. And I said, ha that's really funny. Anyways, this genesis of ideas happened and we ended up shooting portraits in our, our garage with people dressed up from the waist up in, in business wear and the waist down in pajamas, boxers, um, whatever it may be. And it's been really, really cool. One, for people to, to, to see other people as an extrovert. This whole thing is like my worst nightmare. And uh, the, the, the other the other piece to that is it's been amazing to to just put smiles on people's faces. We know one of the greatest way to one of the greatest things we could do to help combat uh, depression and to combat those those feelings of isolation is to make people laugh and put smiles on people's faces. So it's been pretty incredible that people from all over our community, from business owners to elected officials, we have we have uh, legislators, we have commissioners, we have um heads of chambers we have uh business owners we have college students uh, all coming together to say hey we are going to uh put smiles on people's faces and we're gonna be a little self-deprecating because at the end of the day we're all in this together yeah i love it i and i've actually been i I, we pulled up your your website um covidware.co in the background and we could probably share that in the comments in a second so we're just showing some pictures in the background i'm just like cracking up like as as they're going by um you know like with all these you know the classiness on top and the yoga pants on the bottom um i just i just love it no that one's a great one right there um that's that's so amazing to be able to to be able to you know respect the current season but also also to add a little humor add a little bit of life you know into the mix as well i love it that's that's like that's that's a really really beautiful thing so i think um, it's an amazing reminder like us as creative individuals like uh, photography can literally breathe life into people we have the opportunity to 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 invoke emotion in ways um and and as artists in general whether you're a musician or a photographer or a designer or whatever it may be you have the opportunity to invoke emotion and and we have stories like there there would be people coming to our house for the first time that haven't seen another person maybe besides their roommate or their spouse in um, six weeks right and who, and or people who may uh who may have literally put done their hair and makeup for the first time in seven weeks and there there was there was somebody who was sitting there and i like from the idea of breathing life into people, I, this the the reality is like we're shooting these photos in our garage. We've got like paper set up, and I remember like sh- turning around this display, and uh, I, I you see you see literally like folks crying because and someone said this is the first time in these seven weeks that I felt beautiful, mm. and and you remember that in a season in whatever whatever difficult season that we're in as creative individuals we have the opportunity to breathe that's so so powerful yeah that's awesome that's awesome i I love it man and so so this is this was an opportunity for you guys to be you know to be able to give back to your community to be able to um you know to be able to you know have some fun have a have a have a fun personal project like in these you know in these in these times but also to you know to to breathe life into this situation. And then, you know, has there been any ancillary benefits? Like I know so many of our students are in that same boat where if they're trying to start a photography career or they have some other sort of, sure. some other job, like we're all in this, you know, we have, literally have all been in this together, you know? Sure. Um, we, you know, this, so many of our students like have probably been bored and it's been, it's been awesome for us because we've been able to uh, spend a lot of time teaching our students, especially our uh, photo mentorship students. We're going mm-hmm. live three or four times a week sure, inside sure, of sure. our private Facebook group and be able to help a lot of people through this process because they've had more time to to learn and be productive. But I love how you guys 
were saying like we're gonna figure out a way to be productive like during this time and and in doing right. that it's like it's like breathing this life and all this stuff has there been any like first of all that's awesome i applaud you because this project is Thank incredible you. i love it i'm seeing i like i'm just like watching these images scrolling by in the background i just love i love like the, yeah. the dress the briefcase and the yoga pants like together it just like cracks me up it's so yeah. it's so good um, it's cool. Like, uh, I think it'll come up in, in one of the next few images, but like, uh, coach Mike Martin, who's the baseball, there you go. He's the head baseball coach at Florida state. Okay. Uh, so we've got Royce, Royce Lovett was made it pretty far in the voice last season. Mm. So it's been kind of cool to see people who, uh, who also have incredible audiences, right. uh, to say, Hey, like I want to, I want to kind of come together. Let's all come together in a season where it almost feels like, we like the, many many folks in our country are not coming together it's right. been cool to see our community say we're we've got we've got one mission and that's to put smiles on people's faces and we we want to make sure especially from from a, a diversity standpoint as well to sh rep, to be to represent our community uh in a way that it's not a bunch of uh white 20 somethings that or 30 somethings that that might show up in my garage but we've been really really intentional to be an accurate representation of our entire community both young and old um different different in, in, in all sorts of in all sorts of what i love it man like i'm falling more in love with these photos each time like i'm, I'm just watching them come by in the past like it's it's so awesome uh, yeah. um, and he can take a picture that's nice too like it's it's good that you're good at what you do and well, yeah, this project. Yeah. Yes. Yes. These aren't these aren't like crappy photos where you're. These are all like world class portraits. It's it's awesome. Um, hey, for Rich, we do Go need ahead. to get something away at the end of this podcast. Do we announce what we're giving away? Like, did you tell me what we're giving no. away? What am no, I buying? No, nobody. First again? Nobody okay. knows. I, okay. I'm thinking. I, I want Alex to tell us about that cool looking flag on the back of his, on the back of his, office right there that we can kind of see behind him. Oh, and yeah. I want to give that away. I want to give a blue <laughs> V-neck to all the losers, and I want to give a black V-neck to all the winners. So whoever whoever wins is going to get three amazing apparel products. Okay. I don't know if we have a flag to give no, away. No, no, a T-shirt. You said you had a shirt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, uh, on, on October 10th, 2018, Hurricane Michael hit the, the Florida Panhandle as the – the third strongest storm to ever hit the United States. And mm. it, the eye of the storm came on shore in Mexico Beach, Florida, which happens to be the town that my father-in-law lives in. And mm. it completely destroyed the city. There was over 19 feet of storm surge in some places, meaning that where you're standing, that you would be, there would be 19 feet of water literally where you're standing on the sidewalk. And and the buildings that uh, were two stories high were were washed away. And I remember going down in, into the city a, a, a week or so after the storm with just this idea of like, I've got to do something. Uh, I, I, I've, I've been a part of some creative uh, uh, humanitarian projects in the past. And I kept going through this idea of, you know, the. the as as creative individuals, we have the opportunity to affect change with so low, with such a low barrier of entry, and and what we ended up doing was we started selling T-shirts that had this design on. Our, the project's called Never Forgotten Coast. It's kind of a play on um, a, a, a tourism slogan called the Forgotten Coast, but also to remind people we we don't want these communities to be forgotten the way they were before Hurricane Michael. And so we we started by selling T-shirts, and then uh, a friend of I got a friend of ours, uh, Jeremy Cowart, flew down and stayed with us for a few days, and we shot a bunch of photos, both with a drone with this big red heart in the in the destruction of where small businesses were. And we were really intentional about focusing on small businesses because we knew that if we could get the economy moving again that you're going to see sustainable recovery. We need to get mm. people back to work in order to uh, have have recovery that is sustainable. And so we, we for this project, we focused, I think, on 18 small businesses where we had this eight foot by eight foot heart that we placed on the ground where their business was. And then Jeremy took a portrait of, of them in the same place. And my wife, Chelsea, interviewed all of these business owners and compiled narratives to be able to share their story in their own words, 
while also uh, giving a compelling picture. So that's actually on the screen right now is my Chelsea's dad and stepmom, Kevin and Cindy. He's a charter captain in Mexico Beach. And where that heart is, is where there was that was their boat slip. But you can I see there's like a roof of a house uh, in the slip next door or next next to them. And so it was it was a crazy situation. But we we had the opportunity uh, up to this point to give away over fifty thousand dollars to the small businesses of Mexico Beach. We used the sales of the T-shirt to launch a micro grant fund that that businesses were able to apply for those grants with no strings attached. We had members, uh, economic development professionals. So we didn't like I didn't see the app. Like I didn't like go through and choose who would get those grants. We had people who uh, were way smarter uh, than we were uh, to be able to, to go through that. We had incredible folks from the legislature, from the media to be able to come alongside. We gave lapel pins with the graphic to every member of the House and the Senate and the Cabinet on the six month anniversary of the storm as they were voting for their for the recovery package that that week they passed a two hundred twenty five million dollar recovery package wow. for uh, for that community. And, and so it, it, it was it was just an amazing opportunity that we we could help showcase stories of real people who had real needs and have a real tangible way that people could do something no matter where they were. We know that Mexico Beach is a town that tens of thousands of people vacation in every year. And so so many people have the opportunity to 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 have this emotional connection. And so it was, it was awesome. We, we got to meet a, a ton of amazing folks. We, we got to spend some time with a number of elected officials. Uh, there was one day my phone, my phone started ringing. It literally said United States Capitol on it. And wow. I like hold my wife, I'm like freaking out. And it ended up being one of, one of our senators, uh, chiefs of staff. Um, and so that, that was pretty incredible. To, yeah. uh, to like who one like how did you get my cell phone but at the same time oh wait you're the government uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> they're listening uh, to but, everything you know, so right uh, but, but you know I, I i never i never thought i'd pick up the phone and say hey this is senator marco rubio's office is is alex there and i'd be like whoa but this this reality of so often like creative individuals and politicians and small business owners they live in silos and it was amazing for us to see a creative project where legislators could partner with folks in the media who could like partner with folks who like other creative folks, some amazing designers, photographers to, to kind of come together alongside these small business owners. And since then, we've actually been able to help other communities launch grant funds to help uh, in, in hurricane recovery. So it's a whole world that I didn't know about and I learned a lot. And uh, we, we just believe that it was an opportunity to to see people's lives transformed uh, mm. after they lost everything. That's amazing. So we got some T-shirts. <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> we're, we're going to give one. I don't even remember what we said we're going to give away. I guess it was like a T. What, what did you say we're giving away, Rich? You said we're giving to We're going to give away one of, his, one of his T-shirts. We're going to make David like pay like eight times full price for it. And then we're going to give away a blue V-neck and a black V-neck because okay. we all know that. The black Deal. is better. And are you going to sign <laughs> your your blue? <laughs> I just got a shipment of like I think ten more of these in yesterday or couple, whenever the mail came last. Um, so yeah, I got. Yeah, I, I, got I will some. tell you this: like if we're talking about t-shirts, and I don't know if you guys have ever worn a shirt made out of hemp, mm -hmm. but it will change your life. Mm -hmm. I've, after the hurricane stuff, I lear I've learned a lot about industrial hemp because of from a from a from a crop standpoint. In North Florida, we have lots of pine, and a lot of the pine was destroyed by Hurricane Michael, but pine is not legally classified as a crop, therefore it's not insurable. So these folks who had pine groves were not able to recover their losses. And so there's a there's this, like in the legislature and from Florida State University, a number of uh, UF, from a commercialization standpoint, are saying, how could we use industrial hemp? Because the same fiber for like, 16 week old hemp is the same fiber yield as like eight year old pine. Um, but with that being said, uh, so you can get you can get these farmers profitable much quicker. Oh, but cool. with that, we did a run of Never Forgotten Co shirts on hemp. And if your size fits with the hemp ones, I'll send you one because they're the softest t shirts, most amazing t shirts ever. 
but you might if you can if you can hook yourself up with some blue hemp shirts you'll you'll literally never go back it's like one of the interesting. greatest thing interesting mark, i'll take mark that Butler said and when you're done wearing it you can smoke it <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> oh mark <laughs> different so, hemp industrial hemp is the stalks the smokable stuff is the leaves and the flowers but we can talk about that later. you know a lot about oh. this alex you know a lot about this i love it <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I don't really know what the difference is between. I, I've never smoked any sort of marijuana or weed. You guys don't have to claim anything. I just, I never have in my life. Um, so I like, I really don't know the difference between like, you know, yeah. hemp, hemp, hemp seed oil, like things that have THC, don't have THC, because THC is like the the. Sorry, I'm like, uh, this is not supposed to be the conversation. But hemp is the stock, and they can make some very soft T-shirts out of it, right? Is that what you're trying Correct. to say? Correct. Yeah, you like. Uh, Think of think of hemp as in like hemp would be like industrial hemp would be using the stock of the plant uh, to to create stuff like paper t shirts. There's even um, a house down in Tampa made out of hemp crete, which is said to be six or seven huh. times stronger than concrete. Wow! Uh, so there's a ton of incredible uh, applications. Um, with that being said, it's something I've learned a lot about just from the agricultural impact of Hurricane Michael. So yeah, I'll, and so, I'll and so the next so, the next time we're in Colorado, we'll figure this all out. We'll get <laughs> we'll get David some THC gummy bears, and we'll be good to go. Oh we'll be fine. Oh my gosh! Um, yeah, I, not get fan podcast. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, moving on. Uh, so, Debbie, hey, Debbie asked the question: Do you sell the Florida shirts? Like, are they still for sale, or you guys have a limited run available still? Yeah, so the the t-shirts can be purchased um, through the Mexico Beach Welcome Center. Uh, we knew one of the greatest things that we could do is is help. Uh, we wanted to look forward we, mm-hmm. instead of kind of looking back. And so we, uh, at, tw- at the beginning of 2020, to like the last half or the last quarter of 2019 into 2020, we stopped um, really pushing the Never Forgotten Coast brand and helping shift the message back to the community of Mexico Beach. And so we set up a pop-up like retail space in the mm-hmm. Mexico Beach Welcome Center. And so folks, uh, you go to mexicobeach.com and there's a phone number at the bottom and you can call there. They'll ship you the shirt, uh, but that's the best place that you can you can get one. Okay, cool. And we'll post a link to that um, li- uh, hopefully soon. Did you, mexicobeach.com, is that what you said? Mexicobeach.com. Yeah, I already sent it to you and Autumn, so we should be good. Okay, cool. Perfect. I just posted it as well. Um, yeah, I was gonna say because then our students can go buy buy a T-shirt, which is a really cool T-shirt. I just need you to make a blue V-neck hemp one. Um, that way, I can actually wear Deal. it. Yeah. Um, the, the students are over here saying, "Can we get like photo mentorship shirts and David them on our coffee cups and all sorts of stuff?" So I'm, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to. Maybe we'll have to have merch section. We might already have plans. On. We don't tell David about everything. He just owns the business. <laughs> this is true. I find out stuff all the time. Like, wait, what? <laughs> Um, you spent three thousand dollars on what? Announcement today is yeah. Yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. David is launching a new store. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've got lots in store for you guys. Hey, Alex, I've got a question for you. I love how you get, how yeah. you guys are kind of first responders to like go and help and, and basically give back. And sure. It's awesome. And, and um, a mutual friend of all of ours, um, uh, Jeremy Cower, is. I know you partnered with them on projects like you were talking about earlier. And he's kind of you know he's you know founded Help Portrait, which Rich and I have uh, participated in for years and. I believe you've been involved in as well. Um, so you do these personal projects, and these are amazing. They're life giving. They help the communities. They can even raise funds for the communities, and they can bring awareness. And you can partner with local governments and all sorts of things to to literally change the world, which I love. Now let me ask you a question, and and it, it's okay. Like it's not like I, we know this isn't your motivation, but are there unexpected? Sure. Are there unexpected um, like benefits and blessings that come from this? Uh, from from a work perspective, does this does sure. this uh, do these projects like you doing these portraits, for instance? Like and this is so fresh. This has just happened in the last few weeks. Is this causing people to inquire about doing like headshots and stuff like that with you uh, as an ancillary, sure. unexpected benefit that can actually support your family? Because and the reason I'm asking this question is because there's so many of our students that. Um, you know, a lot of times they're trying to figure out how to get their name out there and stuff like that. And and it, what's cool is that, you know, if you were, you know, if you were just taking, I know you do all sorts of projects. You and I met like, you know, when you were traveling 10 hours away from home or something like that on a photo shoot. Um, yeah. But um, 
Yeah, I'm just saying, like, these personal projects, like, a lot of times they could give you unexpected exposure and potentially work right. and benefit, benefit you in other ways. The power, about- the power of social media can be huge. Sure. I, I would say a couple of things to that. One is relationships are everything. And yeah. uh, so w- with the Never Forgotten Coast project, we got to meet a lot of people. And uh, f- everyone from, like, I, I got a, a random tweet from uh, I, I tweeted one day, hey, anyone at the we- anyone know anyone at the Weather Channel? And uh, literally within five minutes, I get a, a tweet back from the executive producer of uh, Weather.com. Wow! Uh, a couple months later, we were uh, in uh, the Weather Channel studios in Atlanta doing doing some doing some stuff with them, and um, so that was like a direct benefit from the storm. But at the uh, through that, like the Weather Channel has now hired us to do drone footage uh, wow. for 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 weather.com so that that was like a, a very specific um relationship i think also it through that there and there's an element of credibility that certain projects bring you because when you do something that is community focused then yeah. you have other people be a part and you, when you have other folks vouch for you uh that 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 really really helps so kind of after the hurricane project i i got i, I spent 48, like 48 hours with the, the now elected commissioner of agriculture, uh, Nikki Freed. I, I photographed the inauguration for her and a couple weeks later photographed uh, go, uh, our gov- Governor DeSantis and his family at the governor's mansion, uh, their first wow. family portraits in office. So kind of facilitating those relationships was huge uh, from that project and also getting to meet legislators. Because uh, like in a city like mine, that, that's a, a smaller capital city. Politics are kind of, it's like one of the main drivers of, of, the, of our economy, both that and the universities. And so, so at least in my community, that was something really valuable. And then now that we kind of, now with COVID where having uh, a number of those incredible relationships, a lot of those folks like already trusted me enough to say, show up at my garage, I'm going to take a photo of you and they're going to trust me to share content that is not going to put them in a bad light as, yeah. as, as well. Because because when you're talking about people who are in the public space, especially elected officials, it's really, really important um, for them to maintain a, an, an image as well. Yeah. And so with, with COVID where it really started because I needed to create and I needed to like I wanted I had this desire to put smiles on friends' faces, like really, really personal. And the Hurricane Michael, the, that project started because my father-in-law is a business owner there. I mean, that was a place that we would go to the beach because that's where we had family. Those things were like inherently personal. I know when Jeremy started the Gatlinburg project and I, that, that I got to fly drones, and that was a place where he went on vacation uh, to for years and years and years. And so I think there's a lot of opportunities uh, to, to, to do something that is inherently personal, but how we've kind of shifted uh, this this COVID where project is at we've now photographed about a hundred people in our garage over the last month, wow. uh, and we are going to now kind of offer and those were like invites like friends and 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 people and and so now we're gonna people are like hey I want to be a part I want to be a part I want to be a part. And we're also going to do uh, people updating their portraits. Now Now that things in our community are opening back up, people can get, like, their COVID grays can go away. They can uh, get 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 a haircut, whatever. We'll update their portraits. So we're, we launched uh, in a, a thing we're calling Garage Sessions, uh, where we're delivering, delivering portraits uh, in our garage on the same three colors that we are doing uh, the COVID wear on so we can actually just shift a few lights around and do either or or both at the same time. And so we've we've used like a, there's a website called Calendly that we love. That's like a, a scheduling program that people can go for like for us. We just give people like we are the workmans dot com slash garage sessions. They can go there, see some example photos and sign up and pay directly di- directly from there, which is kind of uh, which has been a great opportunity for us as a business to kind of open back up again. Right. That's amazing, man. I just told the students to go follow your your Instagram. Um, oh, I'll send it you. up on the screen as well and a link and stuff like that so you guys can find out more about Alex and his wife, Chelsea, and uh, Keegan and Oliver. Um, well, that's awesome. So we had a question a minute ago, and I thought this was actually pretty, pretty, pretty um, 
If you guys have any questions for Alex, post them and we might we might get a chance to answer them. Um, Kate Elkind asked the question, what is Alex's favorite portrait lens to use? And I thought this would be appropriate because, yeah. uh, you know, because of the lens that you were showing me right there. Um, and, and, and like, I didn't even, I think I had like heard about this lens, but I forgot about it. And I was like, wait, 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 yeah. it's, it's what, you know? So tell us, tell us about this sure. lens that, um, that is your favorite portrait lens. And so, go ahead. Go, no, it's all, there, so there's, there's really, really three lenses that I carry most of the time with me. Uh, like when I was doing the inauguration shoot, I, I, I was running all over the place. I couldn't have a lot of gear on me. And for that whole shoot, I used a, a 16 to 35 2.0 and a, okay. an 85 1.4. Uh, and one of the things like I I, uh, I I tend to do, and maybe it's kind of from a video background, is I actually do a lot of like for like my outdoor stuff. I put ND filters on my lenses and shoot really wide open uh, for a lot of uh, that journalistic stuff. It just lets me keep that look while also being on the go, especially in hot, sunny Florida. Uh, but uh, about a, a year ago or so, I guess at this point, we sold uh, our 5D Mark IVs and switched to EOS Rs. Uh, Amen. And, and <laughs> Rich I, is a big fan of that. I, yeah, I love it. Like, I won't go back. Uh, I, it's, it's the best, but I, I ended up getting this 28 to 70 2.0 uh, and it's literally the best. I, I think it's the best lens Canon's ever made. It's a beast. It's big. It's got a, a like to put in perspective. Like this is a this is an eighty five one point four, and this is like the it like it's it's just huge. It's like a seventy seven millimeter to a ninety five millimeter. Like it's just huge. Um, but it literally gives me unlimited primes from twenty eight millimeters to seventy millimeters. In almost every shoot I do, all the COVID wear stuff is shot on this lens. Most of my, like, oh, it allows me now to really not have to carry two cameras. I can do almost every shoot that I need with one lens and one camera. And it's not it's not cheap, but it's been so worth it, no, especially being able to. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, it retails for $3,000. Uh, I saved up for a while to get it um, with my wife's permission, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> David's buying me one. I'm pretty excited. David just announced to the whole podcast that he's buying me one. I did not. Yeah. I so, did not. <laughs> all, 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 all the COVID wear photos were shot on the 28 to se uh, 28 to 70 2.0 with an EOS R. We've got um, a couple pro photo lights in the garage, a B1X uh, with a big soft box, a five foot octobox and I'm sure David's been great at explaining like hard light and soft light, but big, big light, my big light modifier gives us beautiful soft light. And we yeah. also are, I have a speed light up in the back uh, of my garage, like on some C stands that is lighting the paper. So mm. I hope that answered the question. That's awesome. Um, but this lens is amazing. <laughs> and um, if anyone lives in Tallahassee, you're welcome to come over and borrow it. <laughs> don't don't it's like don't tell them that yeah don't do that you'll, people, you'll, people you'll will take you up on yeah yeah don't, you'll, have, you'll have thousands of people trying to come borrow your lens um i'm just messing i, um, I take payment I, in gallons of cold brew you what you, you I require take payment in gallons of cold brew that's awesome that's awesome yeah. uh it's that that is an expensive lens three grand i and i was holding it because you were showing me the other day and i was like holding it i was like oh my gosh it's so heavy um, cause like, you know, the 85 millimeter lens, this is like the old, I think, I don't know if this, which version of this is, I guess it's 2.0, I think, or the one point, no, this, is one, does it, this is the does one point two, but, um, but anyways, I, I'm just saying like that lens was so heavy, but so beautiful. I was just messing around with it a second and I was like, oh man, I think my new, yeah. I think I'm going to have to upgrade all my equipment to get the, uh, the Canon R5 whenever it comes out. Yeah. Which I'm hoping sure. is not seven thousand dollars. Um, but you said you saw a thing that was going to be under four thousand recently. Right. Well, right. I, I would say an, another great thing about the R, uh, the, like at least a lot of the R lenses as well, is they have like a lock on it. So mm -hmm. I, some of the heavier zoom lenses, if you turn it upside down, sometimes they'll fall down. Um, and so there's like a lock that will lock it in place. And I also love that it has a, a ring up at the top here. So I've mm -hmm. got like my zoom ring, my focus ring, and then they call this the control ring. And I can assign this to be anything I want it to be. So I assign it to be, I assign it to be ISO. 
Uh, so I have like my aperture and shutter speed on my camera body and I can easily adjust my ISO just by, by shifting a lens. So it's really, really helpful, especially on the go when I'm doing kind of this like photo journalistic custom stock photography type gig. That lens definitely has a nice ring to it. Um, but that was really cool. I've never been able to twist that ring and actually uh, change the ISO as well. You know, like I thought that was, that was really awesome. It, it was really awesome. Um, well, that's awesome. So you're, so what number ND filter? So one of our students asked that a minute ago. So I, I use, um, the ND filters that I use are from a company called breakthrough photography. At, at least in my research, I, I found them to be, uh, some of the least amount of, uh, like color shift. Okay. Uh, but I, I typically will use a three stop. I have three stops in almost all of my sizes. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and I have a couple six stops uh, for for some certain. Situations. What was what was the brand? Sorry, you said it's uh, their website. It's Breakthrough Photography. So it's Breakthrough Dot Photography. I think is their website. But uh, they're 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 not they're not cheap. But at the same time, like if you're gonna have a, a three thousand dollar lens or a, a two thousand dollar lens, you don't want to put a piece like two hundred or a, you don't want to put like a twenty dollar piece of glass on the front and totally. handicap it. So. Yeah. Uh, I also have like uh, UV filters on all of my lenses um, by break breakthrough as well. Uh, David, as, do, you ever, like, do you have any filters on any of your lenses, David Monar? No. <laughs> David, have you I've, ever used a lens hood in your life? Just sitting on my desk. No, I'm, no, I'm honestly no, surprised. No lens caps. caps. No lens caps on any of these cameras that are on my desk. <laughs> I've got some, so some body caps just sitting over there without doing anything. That means yeah. that means that lens is somewhere without a body cap on it. That's what that means. <laughs> well, it might be one that's connected to the camera. I store them like connected, but yeah. Anyways, I should. I should. I've just. You know what? Like, yeah, I'm fine. My, I've only cracked two lenses over the course of 15 years, so it's all good. And and one of those was my wife. She like was just holding her camera down the side and like banged it into a brick corner of a wall it was it was an awesome moment so sorry to throw you hey, under the bus I, there tammy <laughs> no and i would say it's also a great reminder i mean like insurance is so important and and fortunately mm. i haven't learned that the hard way i have a great insurance policy uh but like i have like my first lens we had an 85 1.2 that had wine spilt all over it at an event and um that got that had we had to, that was seamless we had a check in you know, two how weeks. How much were you drinking our... at this event? I mean, how much were you? Zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the more I drink, the better my pictures get in my mind. So I usually start <laughs> to, sh I show up like already kind of tipsy and just see where the night goes. And then Not actually true. one of the Hurricane Michael projects, we had a, a 24 to 70 that fell off the roof of a car. And oh. so that, um, that was true a true story. I, I came back from Iceland and my buddy Ryan Moser, we had finished the trip. Everything was perfect. We get back in my car. He unzips his bag real quick, and his 50 millimeter falls like hits the tailgate and hits the ground, breaks his 50. Like that's how we ended our trip. He was driving that direction. I was driving in this direction, and he was just like so mad he couldn't talk. He was just like, uh, and like took off. <laughs> I was like, what a way to end this epic trip. Oh god. I would say the most scared I got was I had uh, it was the 16 to 35 Canon 2.0. I was it was the it was during the inauguration uh, it, last January and we were I was walking and I, I forgot to zip my backpack all the way and I like turned and the lens went flying out of my backpack oh. uh, and fortunately like it hit like there was like the edge of like gravel to grass and like r hit the gravel rolled into the grass and it was fine because um, nice. it like landed on the lens cap so it's important to put your lens caps on your lenses when you're not using them is it uh, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I guess maybe it I saved me a lot of money. I have, I have one more funny insurance story and then we can do whatever David oh, yeah. says. I was in New York city. I just shot a wedding in PA and me and my wife were like, let's go. This is pre kids back when I had a life and had fun. <laughs> so I was like, let's go to the city. Like it'll be fun. So like my second shooter went home. Me and my wife went to New York city. I'm in a taxi and I have the weirdest things happen to rich Coleman, but we're in a taxi. We get rear ended like bad by another taxi, the two <laughs> taxi drivers start like yelling at each other in Albanian or whatever they were speaking. 
And I just get my wife and I hand the guy 20 bucks. I'm like, we got to get out of here. They're about to fist fight in the middle of an intersection in New York City. 30 minutes later, I start like patting my neck and I'm like, oh my God, I left my camera in the taxi. Uh, now, praise the Lord, I have everything backed up with redundancies, but I lost, uh, back then it was a Canon 5D Mark II, left it in a taxi. I went to the police department, they were like, can you describe the vehicle? It was a yellow <laughs> taxi. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but because of good insurance, my insurance company called me and said, go to B&H Photo, and, like you're in New York, it'd be cheaper just to get it now. So yeah. insurance can save your life. I mean, because back sure. then, man, I, I didn't have three grand to... Uh, just buy another camera. I had a wedding the next day. You know what I mean? It was nuts. Mm, I would man. say it's also great insurance is also not wildly expensive. I, I think <laughs> we we pay about twelve hundred dollars a year, and that we have two million dollars in liability, and we and all of our gear is covered at a two hundred fifty dollar deductible. So um, that's like a bunch of video gear as well. So uh, I, it, totally worth it and if if anyone has any insurance questions i'll be more than happy to like dm or email back and forth or help share that and when we say dm we mean david molnar <laughs> correct all your david al officially licensed insurance agent in the state of florida um just kidding yeah we actually we actually have some insurance stuff like in the works uh for photographers oh, cool. it's it's coming up soon but we just haven't officially announced the stuff, uh, but but keep keep Either. keep uh, keep posted or keep your eyes put. What what am I trying to keep say here? Peeled. Keep you keep your ears peeled. Stay <laughs> posted is what you're trying to say. <laughs> we'll Stay keep you posted. posted. We'll keep you posted on the insurance stuff. TBD. So. TBD, TBD. So awesome. Well, hey, we need to um, we need to give some some stuff away. What do you what do you what do you think? Hey, I'm we ready. should do. Do we have um. I have no idea. Like, how many winners just, are we picking? Just check, check your – we have one that's going to win three shirts because that was enough, I thought. But whatever you think too, little buddy. <laughs> like, I'm following your lead, boss man. Okay, so we have one winner. Can you ping it to Alex? I want Alex to be able to announce the winner. Ooh, Alex, here we go. I am – Because we'll, we'll do the drum roll for you, and then you can announce the winner. That'll be fun. All right, Alex, let me see how I do this with – Um, you know what? Alex, check your – a cellular phone device. Brilliant. I can't wait. Boom. Thank God for technology. But I right. like, which, one, which, one of these, which one of these seven areas that we're on right now am I going to message you through? Until it doesn't work. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> which, we which, frequently, been, which frequently happens. Go ahead. What were you going to say? You know what's like the worst? I don't know if this ever happened to you, but I was like shooting COVID where like getting these amazing images – and realized that, like, I was shooting tethered, uh, yeah. like with a like a tether tools cable, right? Mm -hmm. And I realized that uh, my camera disconnected, and none of the images were saved. None of them. You didn't have so a memory I... card in there. Hey, dude, don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I take everything I made, said back about David not having lens caps on, but he has memory cards in his camera. This is too. I memory that. Um, <laughs> You got? Do you have the winner, Alex? Do you have the winner? Hey. We're gonna do a drum roll for you, but what, what's that? Oh, I was. Gonna, I am so excited to be able to have this opportunity to give away a T-shirt. There's yes, nothing man. else that I wanted to do today, but that's give away awesome. this T-shirt. That's yeah. the only reason I come online is to give stuff away. That's, that's all I we, care about. That's why we teed you up to be able to do this giveaway. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Appreciate so it. We so just, wait, what are we giving away? We're giving away three T-shirts. We're giving away the the Florida the Florida T-shirt that goes to the good, good T-shirt, yeah, the good looking T-shirt and the ugly T-shirt the and the ugly blue Vina. We're, this so the winner today is going to get three T-shirts. Okay, we're not picking three winners. We're just picking one winner. I, do you want? I mean, you tell me what you want, David. I think I'll we should pick. I think we should pick three winners. Okay, but I know that the team is the team is going to have to you know, and and we'll like should we sign one or something like. I like write like all like real big or like on the tag like right there. This is a fresh one. I've never wore this one before. My back is a little salty because. Are I'm you gonna Are you gonna take that one off and give it to somebody? I'm I could. I could just take it off and you know, <laughs> just, just ship it right now. It uh, doesn't even smell bad yet because I've only been wearing it for the duration of this podcast. True story. I put this shirt on like for the first time ever a minute before the podcast went on. Um, let's I pick three winners. I think it needs to have like it needs to have a coffee stain. That could I'll be our call, logo. I'll, I'll, that could I'll be our new sure logo. I, I'll make sure I have a pit stain, and we'll just call it a coffee stain. You know what I mean? It'll right. be awesome. Um, let's do three winners. So hopefully the team can figure that out. 
<laughs> like, we have, there's two. We we have two so far. Okay, One more is coming in. So so let's I've let's already give, text them to Alex. Let's. Oh, yeah, I haven't gotten the third one yet. But PM are we me. Good? So we'll give away. Which shirt do you want to give away first? We, Let him pick the order. Yeah, you pick the order, Alex. Of which shirt we're giving away? We're picking. We're giving away three shirts. One of each of our shirts. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Well, of course, we're giving away my shirt first because okay. you know, you know, the, never mind. I, I just love how you care in so much. You know what I mean? Like oh, I just think <laughs> he's caring. All, he's caring a lot about the state you know of Florida. Who my, you, know, you, know, you know who I just bought a backpack of the the Peter McKinnon uh, backpack. Really? Uh, yes, it's a nomadic back. It was like four hundred bucks. Did you I, buy I it? it? I bought it. I know we probably should have sent them. I'm 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 glad you told me that. Do you like it? I do. Well, I don't know. I haven't got it yet, but. Hey, do you guys know the name? I don't know the name, so you guys tell me that. You guys need oh. to ping me. That. So, hey, are we giving winner, something uh, away? The, yeah, yes, so, we're giving away yeah, that. I we're would getting. Love <laughs> to give a never forgotten coast T-shirt to Karen McKinnon. Yeah. Karen McKinnon. Woo, 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 woo. I don't. I don't know if I need to ship that to you or not, but you can send me your address and your size, and we'll do what we could do. And or we can uh, buy it. We, we can just buy it for her and have it. We'll, we'll figure out the details. We'll figure it we'll, out later. All we'll, right. we'll get the so, address uh, for her and all that jazz. And then, so the next one is we'll do riches. We've got. Go ahead. Okay, so yeah. So a beautiful black T-shirt uh, to Pat Treadway. Hey, and uh, all right, hold on, hold on. We gotta do a drum roll between each one. Maybe we gotta oh. like build up the suspense, you know. So Pat Treadway, you've got a black T-shirt from Rich Coleman. It's gonna be sweaty. It's it's gonna be worn. Uh, just kidding. Pat, I'll give you. A, we'll give you a new one. It'll be soft. And, It'll be sweet. Like yeah, a hug yeah. for me. The final winner for all of these beautiful, beautiful T-shirts. Am I signing this beautiful. one? Is that the hey, hey. Or, yeah? For, for a blue v-neck with the most amazing custom coffee stains goes to <laughs> and who was it andrea abbott abbott andrea, andrea, abbott. Abbott. andrea abbott. abbott i bet she's gonna like that blue one the best oh i yeah. bet i bet she is <laughs> it just reminds me of the ocean and your eyes oh yeah Ooh. I love it. I love it. Well, congrats, Andrea Abbott and Pat Treadway and Karen McKinnon. Did I did I say them all right? Yes, all three. Did you notice the puns that we were doing beforehand? Like, I bet you're Karen a lot about this, and I bet you're McKinnon. Are you McKinnon? Yeah. Anyways. I I care about you so much. Yeah, that's awesome. Alex Workman, thank you so much for yeah. coming on. You are our very first guest in the podcast. You know, so you are. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm honored and I'm grateful for y'all and all that you do for uh, our all various communities and uh, making everyone's images so much better every single day. Well, we do we do our best. So thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for giving back to our uh, communities and for you know for being a for being a great example for us to all look up to. I know the students were just they were just singing your praises. You should go back and read the comments in this thread. At I will because they were they were loving you. If you guys have not, y'all should make sure y'all follow Alex. And uh, check out their their work, um, Alex and his wife Chelsea. It's wearetheworkmans.com. Here is a link to Alex's Instagram. It's at Alex Workman, just like it seems like it should be spelled. No no trick no trick spelling there. So it's it's pretty great. And then you can check out covidware.co um, yep. for um, you know uh, for 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 all that stuff. So that's awesome. Yeah. If anyone has any other random questions, just like slip in the DMs and I'll uh, get back to you when I don't have kids jumping on me. <laughs> that's awesome. Your kids, yeah. your kids jumping on you. My kids. Yes, thank you. Are, just trying to keep it clear. My wife uh, is watching them currently. They're she's not like, she's like, like in the background. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey! yeah I love it. Yeah, love it. Hey, thank y'all so much. Thanks for tuning in. Y'all are amazing. We'll be back next week with a fresh, awesome podcast. Let us know in the comments if you guys think we should do more interview style stuff. I think it was pretty fun. I think that'd be a fun thing to do in the future. But Alex, you're inspiring to me. Thank you for texting me an hour before you stopped by my office <laughs> Just kidding. last week. Uh, but it, it worked out awesome. You're amazing. Um, have a fantastic day. Thank y'all. You bet. Y'all have a great day. See y'all later. Yeah.